All right, oh. fighting against the dragon. <laughs> Finally, you reach a clearing. More accurately, is an area of overturned trees that surround a deep meteorite crater. Here, the tear of the dragon, which is represented by this card right here, a star fallen from heaven has struck the ground. The meteorite is a vessel for great magical powers. Among other things, it can be used to construct one of the legendary dark eyes. So it is important that it does not fall into the wrong hands. At the same time, two or more groups of adventurers meet with you, and while you are discussing how the meteorite can be recovered, the giant wyvern appears to capture the tear of the dragon. The violent struggle ensues, in which you must try to overcome a dragon at the same time and recover the meteorite before it sinks too deep into the swamp. So at this point, I'm going to flip the Fellowship of the Dragon Hunters card to the Hero Action Fight the Dragon side, and then the number of counters on that card are transferred to that new side. So I already have it on that side anyway, so that's perfectly fine. All right. A combat starts as described. I'm reading the rules for me as well, so you guys have context of what I'm doing. The combat starts as described in the chapter Fight Against the Giant Wyvern, page 5. In addition, the card Fellowship of the Dragon Hunters and the card Hero Action, Tear of the Dragon, are used in combat. Both of these are here. All right. Uh, after a defeat, from um, I'll read something. After a victory, I'll read something. Um, I'll read something if the Tear of the Dragon is recovered on a success, and I'll read something if the Tear of the Dragon is not recovered in a success. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to explain these cards, and then we're going to decide who the first player is, and then we're going to start playing. What I'll probably do is just maybe have Andy be first player. I know you're new, but we'll I'll walk you through it, and then we'll just go clockwise from there, okay? Good. So real quick, Hero Action Tear of the Dragon. At the beginning of each round, you're going to place a number of tokens equal to the number of heroes on this card. Every hero, any number of times, may spend any number of times may spend one endurance to do a body control roll minus three. If you do, you remove a token from this card. If at any time there are zero tokens on this card, you successfully have dug out the meteorite and no further tokens are placed on this card. If at any time there are times three or more tokens of the number of heroes on this card, the meteorite has sunk beyond your reach and I removed this card from the game and you can no longer recover it. Mm. Does that all make sense? And I'll explain it as we right. do it. So at this point, I'm gonna put tokens on here equal to the number of players, there are six. What was the check that you had to make? It is a body control roll minus three. And you have you can do it as many times as you want on your turn, but you have to spend one endurance every time you do the roll. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. Yep. Subtract three from so the what? result or the or your No, or it's my body. it's three to your three disadvantage. Times more, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a minus it's a minus three. So, so I need five it, or less. it says right here it says that's a good question. Your body control skill is lowered by three points per roll. roll. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. Same thing. The roll is lower than that's <laughs> right. And that's a great question. Any other questions? Uh, okay. What are your body controls over there? You you guys. What's your eight? Ten. Ten? What? Eight? Ten? Okay. You got the best actually. Yeah. I would think because I'm thiefy dude. So. so guys, what I'm gonna do, if it's okay, is I'm gonna put these in front of you because I know you guys are kind of the experienced players. Okay. And I want you to remind these guys, and I'll try to do the same, that if they want to do these cards that they can, okay? So that's kind of important because you want to try to do both of these if you can help them. Not only do you have to find a three-headed wyvern, but you also have to try to dig out a big rock from the mud or from his clutches. Make a heavy rock. Make a big heavy rock, exactly. But if you get it, something good happens, so that's great. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with you. Let's make this the first one. So this is going to be kind of like the dealership. He'll go first in the first round. After that, I'll do my thing. And then that'll slide over. And then you'll go first in the second round. And so on and so forth. So at this point, you guys are ready to start your rounds. I want all of you guys to go ahead and draw two cards here. Yeah, two cards from your deck. You're going to draw two more. So at the start of your, you start with five in your hand, and at the start of your turn, you'll draw two, but I'm having everybody there at the same time so they can read the cards while I'm helping everybody out so that way you can get active. So now, 
After you draw your two, we're going to go into the endurance phase. It's always going to be the first thing you do after you unexhaust and draw cards. So endurance, you can only do once on your turn. You may place zero, one, or up to two cards from your hand face down as endurance. I recommend doing two early on because you're going to want to be able to have as much endurance as you possibly can to place them as quickly as possible. If you have cards that allow you to get more endurance quickly, I would probably play those sooner than later as well. Okay, so how are we going to exhaust the ball? So I, I, so I spent this disc, it's too expensive. Right? One these are the extra. So I will say this. It's a stat. He has a gun there. This area. Endurance is going to be the end
One to seven, ranged attack. Every hero suffers 2d6. Uh, eight to 12, spit lava. Place one lava counter on this card. At two lava counters, remove them, and then do a ranged attack. Every hero suffers 12 damage. I had to I actually had to look closer to that because I was like, is that right? 13 to 14 is belting. Every hero who fails at a craft roll must remove a weapon, armor, or equipment of his choice from the game. Oh. Uh, so I, bad. I'm leaning towards maybe going for the fire dragon. Uh, they're all bad, but the fire dragon is really bad. And then uh, Rain of Embers, every hero lives to hell with an 18 to 20 of them. Um, the fire dragon has 48 health, they all do. Has two armor. There is no dodge rolls for these guys, uh, and they all get one action piece. So it's your call. It, uh, I, I would go for fire. So what you're going to do is you're going to exhaust one of them, and then just declare which one you want to do first. So we don't. No, you have to simply exhaust. Them. Yep. She's back. Yep. And so you'll make one magic roll for your magic, and then that'll be your magic number. It'll be your D20. Unfortunately. So you need a nine or lower. Okay. You got it, so that's a hit, great. Go ahead and roll the d6 for damage. Three damage, so sure, the fire guy has two armor, so he takes a point of damage, I take a point of damage off. First blood, gentlemen, first blood, all right. So now you're gonna do your ranged attack, and that number is 12, or less. Okay. Now, at this point, if anybody had a fake point, they could turn it in for you to make you reroll. But since you don't have a fake point and you missed, you earn a, you earn a fake point. So now, at any point, you could use that fake point to add a card to your hand or to add another endurance. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Right, let's see here. You want me to come over or you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. It's not hard. What you, what you got to figure it out. And I'll come over and help you here in a second. If you want. If not, if you think you got it, by all means. Okay. He's going to draw a card. I like it. Alright. Gary, it is up to you, sir. I assume you're done, Mike? Okay, very good. Help you more. 
Control is 12. So it's going to be a 9 or less. You got this. You got this. Mm. Okay. Now, real quick, that was a test. If anybody had a fate point, they could spend it to let him try to re-roll. I just want to throw that out there. Okay? And that's perfectly fine. Um, so no big deal. That's that's the way it goes. Uh, is there anything worse that you want to do on your turn, sir? There is uh, no action that I have left. Very good. I'm gonna... Yeah, I think you're covered. So, All Doug, right. go ahead, bud. All right. So, sorry. No, go right planning ahead. it out. I uh, dropped two cards for endurance. Yes, sir. And I brought out Salasandra uh, strengthening. Sure. Explain what, explain what everybody what that does. So I can exhaust it. Yep. To draw the top card from your uh, from your draw pile yep. and place it as an exhausted endurance card. Very good card. Very which actually, good card. Uh, I also exhausted this to bring this out. Sure. And I'm so you've got one roll. endurance left. And I'm going to try a body control. Okay. You're going to do the body control for the tier of fire. Very and good. I have to roll a seven run. Okay. Good luck. Okay. So that's a critical <laughs> failure. Now, because that's a critical failure, I have to take a card from your hand at random. No. no. Sorry. <laughs> If it's not, though. I mean, I could. I, I am suspect to brides. I'm just going to tell you gentlemen that right now. So 
Crap. He's candy? He's candy? <laughs> alright, alright, keep your card. No, 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 Doug, are you done? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Mike, uh, you're up, sir. Uh, okay. Now, what about I drop the two endurance? Yep, two endurance. Yep. Oh, sorry, you go ahead. <laughs> what? You exhausted one to bring out full Manictus? Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to attack the dragon. Very good, very so good. Exhaust one. Eight, and two, somewhere. All right, very good. Nukem. 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 You got him. Uh, not so much. 16 okay. out of 14. Ah. That's okay. I dice you game. are gonna get a fate token for that yep. though. That's right. That's true. Um is there anything you should want to do? I'm yeah. Okay, there you go. Alright, so now everybody in the round has gone. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do when I go, I'm always gonna go left or right. The rules state that, so that's how I'm gonna play it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the really bad die Mike gave me to roll really bad for you guys, okay? Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I know. The ore dragon is gonna go first. Maybe I'm just cursing that. He rolls a 16. During the next round, every head gains two armor. Okay? Yeah, I know, I know. That's better than doing a it's bunch of damage. It's better than doing a bunch of damage, us. actually. Like, believe it or not, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm gonna, yeah, right. I'm gonna indicate right here next to the armor that they have two additional armor for the next round. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just for the next Holy round. Crap, I kept building up. Oh no! You'd never get through, guys. You'd never get through. So that's his action. That's all he gets to do. Now we're gonna go with the air dragon. I rolled another 16. Gust of wind. Every hero who fails a survival roll has to take one of his permanent cards and play back into his hand. At least for a full effort. That looks like a success on survival. Success on survival. Success on survival. I thought that was a one. No. Uh, so probably a fail there, I'm guessing. Yeah. Was. Okay, very good. You made it. All right, good job. So if you, if you see, good job, Mike. Good job. If you succeed, nothing happens. Great. If you fail, simply take a card that you play, put it back in your hand. Okay. If you haven't played any cards, no effect. So you're good. Good. All right. So that's really two bullets dodged there, boys, believe it or not. Um, so this die is working miracles so far. I'm going to give it a little kiss for luck, but um, for, the, for the heater here, here we go. Another 16. That's three 16s in a row. I am not making this up. I was playing D&D. I'm so, uh, Believe it or not, this is actually not bad. It doesn't going to sound good. It isn't going to sound good, but every hero just loses two lives. That's actually not the worst thing that could have happened right there. Two, yeah, like, the, like that one. Left. Oh, you take 12 damage. Yep, exactly. <laughs> now, what's going to happen is is that I'm going to remove the first time counter, okay? Yep. Now and it's round eight. It is on round eight, so nothing happens on round eight. So now we move the starting token over. All right. And Mike, you start the turn, so you're going to unexhaust everything that you do. You're going to draw two cards at the beginning of your turn and add them to your hand. And then you're going to place zero, one, or two endurance down again. And then you're going to simply play cards and then do fighting, attacks, abilities, whatever you like. If you want me to come over and help, I'm happy to do so. Just let me know. Does anybody want a bottle of water or anything? And I'm creepily standing over your shoulder, so if you have any questions, I can try and help there. I'm thinking you're thirsty. Let me know. You don't get endurance. Oh, boy. I don't do All I do so is much I good simply roll a d20. So anything that's like exhausted well, endurance yeah, cards. Kind of cards. Bad cards. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So yeah. Keep in mind, yeah. if you're in an adventure, so you're going to read that. That looks like oh, okay. that one of your choices. Yeah. I may have to use so, that. So yeah, always, anytime you see that, that little box, it means that's the part you're going to do. That means I have to have to. Uh, the other part is to uh, endurance yes. in, one in order to be able to do it. Oh, yeah, if you want to do that, I'll be Doug, did you say you needed a bottle of water? So that's no, one we, of the ones for like okay, a melee. Good. Melee is not your strongest, so you might want to lay that one down. Well, it doesn't really say melee, though. Uh, <laughs> hey, so you've got to use that on the heroes. Actually, yes, you are right. Come to think <laughs> of it, that exactly would still right. apply to a bow. Yeah. So you could poison your bow if you so desired, or poison someone else's weapon. I did I that last. 
uh, this wrong. scenario, yeah, right, right. I'm, every time yeah. I play it, I Now, the other thing that's cool about time. this card system, I, I they mean, may I have shown you this already, is, is that whenever you pull that out, that's, you can just lay I'm, that down and then pretty, these cards wake up yeah, so that you can keep track of what all bonuses you have. That's why I was wondering. You, I mean, if you love the game, I yeah, what's your last set yep. card with the five? I, well, I have all the other expansions. Well, then so. you got to work up to get out. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I am too. Well, I got the, I, the only one I didn't have was the Ship of Lost Souls. Um, yeah, the one with the four wheel. The one with the, with the Viking, yeah. yeah. And so I got it here while I was here. I'm going to... I like the hero. Is that like a pre They start off as pre made decks, and that's what you're using. But you can just, uh, yes. Yep. And so as you progress through the campaign, or even just one offs, you'll get rewards like we did earlier. And then you add them to your decks. And then what you'll do is you can write down those cards on your pieces of paper I showed you for your character sheets. And then. Or you can just keep the decks together okay. simply. What about the dual mode? Like, you, you can. There are like player versus player. Yeah. You're, you'll in the yep. tournament tomorrow. You'll be using just the standard decks, but there are special rules where if you put in your rewards from the game, and use rewards. So there are there are three different types of tournament rules for the casual. I would just say, hey, if you're anybody who's playing, like, hey, let's see, pick out spells like you know, the other guys. Technically, technically, there's no, if you're just, yeah, exactly. Technically, if you're just playing the one, you can do it hard. I like it. Oh, okay. Um, hold on real quick, I'm going to stop it. No, 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 I know that. But here's the problem. And, and forgive me, because I'm gonna, I, 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 I'm 99% sure you actually have to have a weapon in play. Uh, you can't yes. use it on your. Yes. Be, I remember that was one of the rules. Yeah. yeah. So you can play that card, but you just have to get a weapon in play. And unfortunately, that's a spell, not a weapon. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to. Once again, I don't want to. Here's, here's the thing that sucks too: is like you got that weapon out, so it's adding to your damage. Yeah. If you lay that poison down, something happens that that weapon gets taken from you, and you no longer have. Poison. Right, get it, I get it. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty great. Alright, so at least I have a couple of things no, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So what you two would want to so do then is I'm get, just do both attacks get a weapon out. Yeah. Like, well, I don't have a weapon that's in it. Yeah, right I'm, I'm just saying is like get a weapon out if you want to use that. As soon as I pull one, I'll do it. Yep. Alright, so uh, we'll go ahead and do both attacks again. So Very good. I'll start with the magic one more okay. time. And that's nine or under? Got it. Okay, good deal. So that's a maximum of six. Um, now, real quick, yeah. the fire dragon has four armor. Yeah. The uh, air dragon has three armor, and the or uh, or dragon has six armor right now. So if you want to continue to go for the fire, you'll do two. You'll do three on the air. So I just want to give you all your options. That makes sense. Give me three on the air, guy. Very good. And then I'll go ahead and. Take a shot, then. Leave it alone. Do I have to declare who I'm shooting at first? Uh, I'll let you roll it, and then I'll let you declare. Who, but you, technically, you're supposed to, yes. Yeah, it's still the right, so. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I'll stick with the air guy Very this good. time. Very good. And that's a success. Great. That's a max. Amazing. All right, so that's another three more points of damage. Very good. Good rolling. And that's me. Guys, Mike's Most making headway over here. He just did like six damage to the air dragon. So. It would be great if I knew I was way back in the back rank doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get hit by, you know, whatever. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, they could get to me. Uh -huh. That's a law fix. That's right. That's right. Oh, Every round, it's only going to get harder for you guys. And easier for you guys to do damage, but easier for you. I think I did more damage this time when he had more armor. <laughs> that's, that's actually because well, you rolled really good on damage both times, too. But yeah, you're actually right. You'll, you'll, you'll get there. <laughs> well, so if I keep rolling those 16s like I did, we'll be fine. I hope you. I hope so too. I really love being named the dragon slayer. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yeah, those are nice because they're variable, but it's a long, yeah, it's a long yeah. game. So I, I'm not. I can't honestly. I can't honestly say that for a fact. But as far as I know, no one has 
claimed it, and they we have a website where they could go on and claim it. And no one has no one has even done a YouTube video of this. This is the first, as far as I know, this is the first yeah. video of this expansion that's yeah. out. That's at least in North America. Perhaps German, yeah. and in my slow editing, hopefully I, I well, get it I'll out. Well, I tell you, I'll be honest with you. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be taking this, but I'm going to be taking the game over to Board Game Geek TV tomorrow at 1:30 mm. and doing a quick you know, demo of that as well. Yeah. And so, and then on GMT, I'm going to do it at Gen Con. And then Rob Warren was supposed to do this exact one with me yesterday, but he never got back with me. Mm. So. Ah. But it's in okay. all honesty, when we came here, we didn't know how you guys felt about the videos we did so far last year that we emailed to Eric. Oh no! And like we, we were, we really just wanted to see the game because we genuinely hey, enjoy listen, it. Hey, listen, I've watched a few of those. You guys are passionate about the game, and that that warms my heart. I mean, if, anytime you guys are passionate about it and you want to get the word out there, you're a kindred spirit, man. Because that's my goal too, is just to get people aware of this game. It really is a good game. Is, is it perfect? No. Is it absolutely groundbreaking? Not really. No. But it really is a good game, and it does a lot of things different than a lot of the other genre of this type. Right. Like do. you and I were talking at your stand yesterday, it's a game that like it sells itself once you start playing. It kind so. of does. <laughs> once you play it a few times, it kind of does. Okay, Gary, he's drinking again. Okay. He's clean. All right, very good, Morris. All righty, draw two. Hidden dagger. Hidden dagger. Right. Something to poke things with. Yep. I'm gonna hold on to that if I can. Um, one dodge, yeah. yeah. You already got an eight, so you're gonna have a decent dodge. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, turn that down. Yeah, which I did on exhaust. I, this is mm -hmm. I mean, I know a lot of people put that in there, and then you get you get one more you can put up there too. Yeah. yeah. I would absolutely keep these. This has enough of the RPG mm -hmm. probably the best one. So then, but the deck building stuff doesn't bother me so much. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's the other thing is like if you draw good early, you're like I don't want to get around this. Um, um, let me check some time because mm -hmm. I'm gonna look and see how many melee attacks we have. These are both range, that's range. I've only got one uh, melee attack, and it's only on him that's only a one to seven. So the probability of that happening is probably pretty low. So I feel comfortable about putting that over. I mean, yes, there is a chance, but it's a very low chance. Compared yeah. to all the other ones are ranged attacks. So I feel comfortable for you putting that in there. So now you have four. Um, I mean, putting that out is always not a bad thing. And then you still have one left over to either guess or do a shoot. Um, that's probably, or you could put this out. I'd probably go ahead and do that now so you can get set up to start using this because this is your most damage. And then 14 or lower is a pretty good number. You're going to want to start doing damage as quickly as possible. So I would probably do the three and ramp up for next turn on the damage. Still gives you one to either guess or do an attack. This time. That's my suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like your suggestion that <laughs> that just happens to line up. And I love how they designed that, where that yeah. lines up with those numbers for easy math. I absolutely adore that. So, that. And then you've got one endurance to do with that, too. Yeah. Morris is going to go try to get the tears of fire. So it's a body control minus three, which for you is a nine? I believe that's one. All right, very good. So I'm just checking the okay, I did not get it. All right. <laughs> so, um, it's always my piece. So is that... So you should actually technically have two fake points because you missed that last test. Anytime you fail an attack or a test, you get a fake point. Okay. And that's my fault. I should, yeah, it does. It doesn't apply to dodge. Everything else is test or attacks and it applies to Absolutely. Absolutely. Shit, that one thing. Uh, yeah, unless it's this. Ooh, that just doesn't like noise. me no more. Okay. Alright, Doug, you're up, buddy. Okay. You all set? Get up here, Tank. Uh, get yeah. up. Come on, Tank. Alright, so. Uh, sorry, stepping back for a second. Nice. I had three. So I dropped two for endurance. Very good. And I tapped one 
to get my strengthening thing back up. Yep. Thank you very much. You're Martin. welcome. I knew that was going to help you. <laughs> I'm going to tap it to draw one card off the top of my deck yep. as an exhausted card. Absolutely. And now I'm done for and I don't know what the crap I'm actually doing, so... Okay, well let me help you then. Can I do I can do... Let me help you. Okay, yeah. so obviously... Oh my gosh. So I'm doing wow. four body checks. What do you think? Um... Yeah. one attack. Maybe one attack and three body checks? Alright, so yeah. One attack. Thirteen. Made that, yep. Very good. Six damage. Who are you attacking? Beautiful. Uh, this guy's got four armor, three armor, and six armor. Let's do that one. Okay, and you're doing six damage, so that's three health, so let me do some math here. Take that, air boy. That's right. <laughs> so 15. Blow hard. Uh, 16. So I took five off the 20 and one off the six. Six damage. You needed six for three. So let's do this. Uh, three. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, there we go. All right, good. All right, so now you're going to do three of the Tears of Fire. Good deal. And what's your fighting control? Oh, that's fine. There's one. Oh, Holy crap. There's two. Oh, one more, baby. There's two. Oh! Holy crap. Three Are sixes. Woo! Mark the beast for the win. <laughs> there is some kind of irony there, and I won't explain what that is. As, as the thief, I'm a little embarrassed right now. <laughs> so, yeah, the thief couldn't do it, but the slow... Uh, well, of course, he's pretty strong, dude. I'm a slow dwarf! dwarf. <laughs> Alright, that was oh, really, yeah, really great. Oh, yeah, you're for ore. That's what it is. Alright. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. sense. Now I don't know about it. Did you get over around there? Just last time you had to put more tokens on this? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. I think I did. I know. Alright, works for me. So yeah, it should be oh, six more. Yeah, I know. Oh shit, isn't it? Yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah. What happened? Uh, at the beginning of a round, I got to put, put six, uh, six more time. back on there. That's my fault. Yeah, so, um, so honestly, yeah, if you don't have it, yeah, that's all I can do. I have a ten. But he helped out though. So, that's going to yeah. save your bacon a little bit. All right, so Mike, it's on you, bud. Yep. I dropped two for my endurance. Okay, yeah, very good. Two for your endurance. Yeah. I'm yep. going to pull my full manictus back up. Nice. Thank you very much. Very Greg. good. My pleasure. Um, uh, and then, oh, was no, your full Manictus was out. You never oh, lost it. Oh, and then you, yeah, and then you tap two for your Covenant Garb, and then you're going to tap one for full Manictus and do a D6 plus one. Okay, that's what it was. And we'll body control check out there. After a roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'll automatically hits right. Yeah, well, sure, why not? That's yes. a hit. You did it. Good okay. job. And then a D6. D6. Plus one, right? Yep. So six, six damage. I'm assuming you're attacking the air guy since he's only got three armor? Oh, yeah. Okay, so and it was a total of six damage, correct? Yep. All right. Oh, no, six plus one. Uh, you rolled a five. Oh, oh I rolled a five. Total. Yep, sorry. That's okay. Yeah. So, five, uh, so three damage taken off. Very good. Okay, and then I'm so gonna, the, the air dragon is taking some damage. Control. Control. He just yeah. did uh, six points of damage for a total of three. So very I'm good. I'm going to try to do a body control, but I'm highly unlikely because I need a five or six. Well, you never know. You never know. My luck has to change at this point sometime. So you got a seven. Ah, now you do have a, a fate point. Do you want to use it to re-roll it, or you can get a fate point for well, missing let's, that? Let's save those fate points for when we're actually trying to kill the heads or something like big. All right, you just got a second fate point for that idea. All right, is there anything else you want to do, Mike? Okay, very good. All right. Uh, well, he would, but he's the last player because you're the last player. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. He'll be the last player and then I'll go. Play Magic Floor. Yeah. I'm going to do this one because I've got stuff I might want to do. Yeah, doing. absolutely, man. Okay, very good. All right, so Andy's done. All right, guys, here we go. Dragon time. Uh, you got a token for whiffing. Uh, uh, let's go, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I or did what well, I think I got a nat twenty on my last skill check for body control. Did I or do not get it for that? When was that? What did I do a body control? Uh, it's it's a long time. We'll, we'll, we'll skip it. I, I can't okay. remember exactly how it is, so forget it. Sorry. No, it's alright. Um, Attack uh, rolls and skill tests. Okay. Yeah, that's. I'll let me double. You want me to double check that real quick? I'd be happy to. Pretty sure. It's well, if you're handing them out for skill checks, let's not check that. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you guys. I'll check it real quick and make sure. Yes or no? I, I mean, you know, I would rather get it right as well. Sure, skill test and I think so too. That's how I usually. So it's 
says that you can you can in the dual rules you only get a fake point for doing an attack. Uh, if you miss an attack, but in an adventure, it's attacks or skill checks, okay. but not dodge rolls. Not right. dodge, okay. It is technically a skill check, but not dodge rolls. Okay. So that's how I'm going to play it. If okay. I'm wrong, I apologize. Oh, that's that's fine. Fine. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do it. That sounds right, right to me. Okay. So can we use this for endurance? Or something? Yes, you sure can. Okay. You can turn one in to use it for so one endurance. You can turn it into draw a card, okay. or you can turn it into re-roll a skill check or a attack. Or not a dodge yeah. roll. Now, is it right that if you use no that for endurance, that's only good for that round that you spend it on? One shot endurance for that round only, and it's spent. You can't save it and accumulate it. No. So you, you use it and lose it. It, it sounds good at first, but then. Yeah, I mean, if you critically need it, like if you have a yeah. huge turn and you need one more, that's when I would. Or if you were in, in dual mode and it's like, ah, oh, if I had dual one mode, more, I could stick it to it. all set. Okay, very good. All right. Um, Dragon number one is going to be the. Uh, so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these tokens. So, this armor did, uh, goes away. I use this yeah. to try to put the. Four dragon. Uh, An 11. Whip up. Every henchman makes an action roll. That's actually really great because I have no uh, henchmen. All right. Uh, air. 13. Lightning fast. Henchmen cannot be attacked during the next round. We have no henchmen so far. We're doing really well. Alright, last die. Uh, I rolled a critical success. Uh, wait a minute. Yep. Uh, it says, play this card as a free action after an opponent has rolled a 1 through 5 with his action die. The effect of that roll is destroyed. I believe you. I believe you. Love you. Okay. <laughs> That's an awesome time to bring that out. Woo! He just saved you guys 2d6 yeah. damage each. So that's a, that's that's a really big deal. Great play, great play. So the dragons are now over. That was the three attacks that they did. I am now gonna add more of these at the beginning of the round. It is at the beginning of each round, and this is gonna be the beginning of round three. Am I correct? So that's the move over. One, two, three. So we're at six. We're at fifteen guys. So if you guys, and so you gotta decide what's more important. So five. I mean, I think killing the big thing is more important because you're going to still get the title. Uh, it's completely up to you. So, but if you, I would say if you have extra endurance left over, by all means, put it into that. So, okay. Okay. I mean, um, all right. So the dragons have gone. Uh, I have put the counters on the tears of fire. We moved the starting counter token over to clockwise. Uh, you guys can go. Everybody draw. Everybody go ahead and draw the two cards. Unexhaust everything. Yeah, I'll, I'm doing this at the same time so you guys can all have interaction and have kind of playing out your turn. I realize with six people it takes a little while, so that way we can kind of move it along because I know everybody's got time constraints. Hey. I'm gonna just drill one more time, Andy. Just gonna do it pretty quick now. That was sick, bro. That was sick. Great <laughs> fucking play. That was super good. Uh, uh, Mike? One second, I'm messing. That would've been nice with the one shot, so... I like that. That's pretty soft. So let's see. Any point, if you need my help, you just come call around me, okay? Okay, very good. All right. So, guys, real quick, and I hate to ask, um, when you get a second, I do need tickets for all of you who haven't given them to me. And I apologize. I don't want to do it, um, but my boss makes me. <laughs> Okay. Um, I mean, just give me, just give them to me at some point. I um, I definitely gave him mine. I think I gave him mine. Yeah, mic, you gave me yours. I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, didn't give you mine. I gave Doug his back. I'm gonna choose this card for my special blessing. Okay, very good. So I don't have to pay the maintenance on it. <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm not as liturgical. Yep. And you know, the rest of the game, I don't play. So, one thing I want to make a note of, though, at the very bottom here, it says, at the end of your turn, if you pay one, or you have to discard this. So, if you don't have one left over at the end of the turn, this goes in your discard. So, my... Doesn't that, doesn't that cancel that out? Pick one, if you do want to do that ability, absolutely. And I, that's, that's a great time to do it. It says, pick one of your liturgical chance. Do not pay the endurance cost at the end of the turn. Yes, for one. So, I would use your special ability so you never have to pay for that because... That's what I was saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. Out, Absolutely. Don't have to worry about this the rest of Correct. Game. So what you'll have to do if you want to do that is you'll flip this card over and it says your special ability's already been used. But then oh, okay. we'll attach that to that so we know that that's your special ability. So I'll know that you've done that, but that's how that works. Very good play. That's a good play. Okay. So he played a a uh, animal shape into a mountain lion that does a plus two to attack and 2d6 plus two damage. And he uses his special ability so he does not have to pay the upkeep for the cost, which is an amazing play for the druid. Your special ability? Yeah, everybody, you have a special ability once per quest, or so you can do it. It's like a feat in the game. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is physical. Here, I think Harry's done. Oh, yeah. But then again, this is Laura Morris' second. No, no. I mean, that's nice and all, but it's a one shot. It would be really nice. And I was just talking to Doug about uh, whether it would be used more endurance. However, it's it's a long game. And, and yeah, you got to play for the long game here. You, you absolutely have to play for the long game. So at this point, what I would probably do is go ahead and play your bow to four and then do attack with your bow. That's honestly what I would do. Yeah. I keep doing a skill check, but I'm not doing too well at that. Um, well, hold on. We got one, two, three, four, five. We need to put one more of these out, don't we? We really. Uh, we have to get two actually, I don't think we, we do. I think we could probably do just one this round. Mm. One, two, I'd like four. to. Oh, on the one hand, I'd like to have the endurance, but on the other hand, like I also want to have the Well, as well at this point, let's say you're, even if you put a second one out, you could technically do this again. I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm. Uh, which could be really important. Morris, and I would say you save if you were gonna get two? rid of one of them. Say what? Can you save an endurance or two for that thing? We gotta take off four this round in order not to lose it for certain. I mean, on, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That is gonna be low priority compared to doing damage to the dragon. I mean, yes, it's a honey pot, and if you get it, great. Only if you have extra what I worry about. I would really concentrate on killing dragon because it's very, very difficult. So I would go ahead and use that heal potion. I hate to say it. I would always end up throwing that away. I mean, I don't like you don't have. Well, you don't have to. But I'm saying, out of all of these, damage out. Out of all of these, damage output is way more important. Okay. So if you were going, if, I'm going to let you make the decision. I'm not saying you should do it. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have that second endurance, that would be the card I would choose. Well, that's one of those ones that, like, I really would have liked to draw that later in the game. Oh yeah. So. Mind that you could use that to reinvigorate here because it's, it's important. So if someone were to die. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it. Because I didn't, I didn't realize the reinvigoration. So yeah, that makes a difference. So go ahead and exhaust the last one and go ahead and attack the short bow boys. So your number now is a 14 or lower to hit. So let's get that. That's a critical success. Nice. So you're gonna get to draw a card. Okay, I forgot about drawing card. Yeah. And then, um, be before you roll damage, I need you to choose which dragon you want to attack. Okay. Now keep in mind, the armor bonus is now off of them. So, four armor, one armor, two armor, uh, 43 health, uh, 36 health, and full health at 48. I, I think you should still go after the fire as well, that's my opinion. If the armor's down, yep. then And then, smart. go ahead and attack, uh, Tap your short bow, excuse me, exhaust your short bow for me. Mm -hmm. So that is a 1d6 plus 4, if I'm yes. not mistaken. So go ahead and roll your d6. Add 4. Nice. So 9 damage minus 2 armor is 7 damage. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna take a 20 off and we're gonna put 13 on. Alright, that was a good turn. 
good, good damage. Uh, anything else you want to do, Morris, before we move on? I think you're pretty um, all set up. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Okay. Doug, go ahead, buddy. Okay, so two two cars. Yep. I'll only place down one. That's fine. Uh, endurance. That's fine. Uh, exhausted it to kill another endurance. Great. And then I spent one, two, three to add warfare to my. That's a good play. Yeah. And no, it's a 17 or less for you to do a melee attack successfully. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. This the one I do that is That's exhausted. Fine. Okay. And I play one card to attack. Okay. So 17 or less to do the hit. That's a success. Go ahead. Uh, who are you attacking? I assume the fire guy, but it's your call. Yeah, fire guy. Okay, so go ahead. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no, I don't know. The fire guy. Focus fire. Uh, so four. you're going to do four damage. So he's got two armor, so two damage is going to be taken off. Okay. And then I have three. three. You're going to do three guesses? Yeah. And then that number is a six? No, six. Okay, yeah. very good. Three. Wow. Nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got one. So you got one. Very good. All right. Um, so he... Two of those. Yep. There you go. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, Mike, you were up, sir. Yes, I am. Uh, no, I took a cigarette. We didn't, yeah, we didn't actually do anything for you, so... Uh, yeah. Um, I want to get that dragon fire thing off. All right, that so seems like a good thing at this point. Did we drop any uh, endurance for you? You only got four. Uh, no, I did not. I think I'm going to... One of the healing ones, honestly. People have got us. I'd get rid of... I would focus on damage. Um, healing is great, but I'm focusing on damage is really going to be the best way to win this in my opinion. Yeah, I'll get rid of two for cost. All right, so you got five. And you want to get Dragon Hunter out for three? Yep. All right. Oh, absolutely. Dragon Hunter out for three. So I'll go ahead and exhaust the Thank you. One, two, three. And then, um, okay. I can probably so then, attack with, uh, Yeah, you got Fulminictus you can attack with. I could spend two Endurance to do it, too. Huh? Yes. I might as well. All right, we're just letting that Dark Guy go. You're killing yeah. him. Well, I, I, we don't have enough to get rid of it. There's, I can't, don't have enough actions to do it. Well, we got two other guys. Will you chip in? Two other? Yeah. Before, not, yeah. Not before the, I'm the end. I'm no, the end. because the, the marker... This is around. a problem at home, too. We cannot let items go. <laughs> yeah. You got to learn to let it go. The dragon, the, the death of the dragon is by most important paramount thing. I realize you want the, the entire setting is set based on this damn no, thing. The entire setting is based on this guy killing him, and you get the title of the hero dragon slayer, which is most likely going to be the first ones in North America. I would be more worried about that I than a rock. But that's, I, I, I know you're a dwarf and you really love rocks. <laughs> but I'm just saying, uh, let's go for the dragon. He, I'm, you can do whatever you like. I'm just, just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. No. If I was uh, to to peel back the curtain real quick, I appreciate your coaching, Ryan, because like when I go to review these videos, every dumb thing I do because I'm not paying attention, every mistake that's made, I get to see it multiple times because I'm going through the Well, and I guarantee you I'm making a ton of mistakes, and I'm sure <laughs> when your your uh, viewers watch this video, there's going to be you know a laundry list of comments going, you missed this or you did this, and I apologize if that's the case, um, but I, I'm trying to do the best I can, but you know, we're all human, yeah. so we this, all do the best we can. This is a different beast from playing it at home. Yeah, it is. So. <laughs> Be prepared to do a fair amount of editing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes. That's yes. a one. That's a one. That's five, five damage on the red dragon. Red dragon. On the fire dragon? Very good. Yeah. So he has two armors, so he'll remove Since three. I have my dragon fire thing out, I Absolutely. get extra damage to it. Alright, so. so three damage. So anything else you'd like to do, Mike? I'm done. Okay, very good. Andy. I'm going to use my which is called Now you can use the, the fate point that you had to reroll it if you wanted to instead of taking the fate point. I'm just making sure you know that's an option. Okay, real quick, I'm going to stop you. I'm not penalizing here, I just want to make sure you understand something. The first thing you do after you draw is you have to do endurance. So technically you would not have been able to do this. Oh, okay, I was going to draw it's, it's, I understand. I just want to let you know it's not a big deal, but endurance has to come first before you do anything else. After you draw cards on unexhaust. Alright, cool. Now, endurance. So you draw. Oh, good. Might be that. 
That card is awesome. Yeah. Yep. She's she's called the Cat Witch for a reason. <laughs> So every time he takes damage, the, if the cat is out, the cat automatically does two damage to whatever it is. It's pretty great. It's like his familiar. It's pretty awesome. Well, I like how you, you make complex arcane gestures and throw a spell, and then immediately whip out your short bow and fire. Fifteen or less, you got a good hit. So who are you attacking? The red. The fire? fire okay, fire. very good. So yeah. 1d6 plus 6, 8 damage, minus 2 is 6 damage, so we take 6 off. Good job. He's down to 25, guys. You guys are doing good. Keep it up. Alright, yep, Mike. You're the last one to go in this round. Got this. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna dump that. Attack that. Exhaust that. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> really, you guys won't get in trouble for saying that. Only I will, so. <laughs> My bow. All right, very good. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get to fire at anything. That's okay. You're well equipped for the next round. All right. Uh, so that's going to be the end of the round. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and... Yep, we're going to go ahead and do the dragons first. I'm going to remove a time scale counter, actually. Um, the dragons go first, then the tears of fire triggers, then the time scale goes. So I'm going to leave that on there for now. Uh, okay, first dragon. Or, I rolled a 10. Whip up. Every henchman makes an action roll. Uh -huh, sorry, henchman. Sorry, henchman. All right. Um, air. I rolled a two. Ranged attack. Every hero suffers 1d6 plus four. Does anybody have anything they want to do? Yeah. Okay, very good. I take 1d6 plus three. Uh, Reroll that. Reroll the die? Very good. An eight. That's better. I only take seven. This head cannot be attacked during the next round, so he has immunity. So I'm going to put this token on there, giving him immunity for the next round. Okay. All right, last dragon is the fire dragon. That's the one I'm worried about. 18. That's better. Uh, nothing. His eyes Woo! glow deep red. Uh -oh. That was another good round for you guys. He's All right. powering up. <laughs> here we go. You guys are really getting lucky here, and I'm loving it. So, uh, six more, and that's going to be six. Yep, that one's going to be gone. So, the tear of the dragon will go away, unfortunately, which is not going to be the end of the world, I promise, guys. No magic artifacts for us. So, that's going to go away. Um, the rest of the turn is you, so we're going to move the token over if we haven't already. Every, yes, sir. Yeah, and the t thank you, and the time token. Yep, and i got to remove the time token. We are now on six. I do now draw a number of henchmen with the threat value total of the number of heroes multiplied by three or more and place them to the right of your opponent. So henchmen now will come out. So here's how this works for you guys. Each henchman is going to have a threat level number in the very top right. Since it's you guys is 6 times 3 is uh, 18. So I'm going to continue to draw henchmen until that number reaches 18 or above. Once I hit that number, I stop. And that's how many henchmen come out for the game. Hopefully lots of one creatures. They, none of these guys are one creatures. I, I promise you, you're not going to like any of these guys. The best you could hope for is a dragon whelp, I think. You're, you're going to tell whelp. me none of those cats that I saw in Witch's Dance are working for this No dragon. cowardly goblins in this scenario, I promise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw the first one. It is a fanatic Maru cultist. This guy's tough. Uh, the next one, dragon whelp. So we're up to eight points. The next one, another cultist. So we're up to 13 points. The next one is another dragon well. So that's gonna be 16 points. And we have uh, six, so we need one more card probably. The next one is gonna be another dragon well. So that's actually really good. 
We've got three free, relatively weak guys, and we got two relatively strong guys. So it could have been better, could have been worse. All right. So let me real quick read what these guys do so you understand. The cultists on a one does a kick attack. The starting player, which is always the player that has the starting token, suffers 2d6. True to six, he does a bite attack. The starting player does 2d6 damage. The Morrow loses two life, and he gets to make another action roll. On uh, seven through 12 is an attack weapon. The hero with the most hand card suffers 1d6 plus two, and must discard one random endurance card. 13 through 20, nothing happens. And the other one, one through four is a breath, a random hero loses 1d6. Five through 10 is a ranged attack, a random hero suffers 1d6 plus two. 11 and 12 is a swap down. The hero with the most hand cards uh, must discard a random one from their hand. 13 to 16 is flapping. The hero with the most fate points must discard a fate point. 17, 17 through 20, nothing happens. So that's all those guys do. All right, Morris, you are first, so you're gonna get to go. Everybody go ahead and unexhaust everything. Draw your two cards. The theme music used for this podcast, Orc March by Snowflake, featuring Wolf Sebastian and Spinning Merkaba, is available from CC Mixter under the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. You can find it at dig.ccmixter.org or find a direct link to it and its license information in our Blind Sense podcast descriptions. Hey kids. Yeah, I know it took me a lot to get this episode out after the last one, but hey, there's just one more and you're going to get to see what happened with the dragon. So um, in the meantime, any comments or questions, once again, you can email them to mike at valantrix at gmail.com. That's Valantrix spelled V-A-L-A-N-T-R-I-X. And, you know, in the end, I'm kind of proud of Doug in this episode. I mean, he whined about his card initially, whined about the treasure. But in the end, he was able to man up and accept that it was gone and just go on. So maybe he's finally learning his lesson that some things are best left alone. You know, like how the knight told us we shouldn't take the grail from here. You remember that one, right, Doug? Doug? Doug?